How's it going y'all? This is Ryan De La Garza with a Desmos component introduction. In this video, we're going to look at the multiple choice and checkbox components right here. And I'm combining them together because they kind of go hand in hand. And there's a cool feature that Desmos put in where you can toggle back and forth. So we'll take a look at that here in just a second. Um, first off, let's add in our note because we're going to bring in a question. So we want to make sure we have that note so we can share that text with our students. I'm going to hop over to my sample doc and uh, I have a question here, which value makes this inequality true? So I'm going to copy and I'm going to come over and paste it. Now, if I want to make that look a little more mathy, I can highlight it and turn it into math type. Now we're going to have some nice math type in there. Now I'm going to start off with this as a multiple choice component. So I'm going to add in my multiple choice component over on the left. And let's pull in our choices. So here I have 5.6, 2.5, 5.2. So uh, this is negative 5.6, negative 2.5, negative 5.2. I could do the same thing. This is formatting as text, but if I wanted to make it math, I highlight and I do math type right there. 5.2 and my last one's negative 2.1, negative 5.4. 1 and negative 5.4 and I'm going to come in afterwards highlight type math highlight type math so now I have my multiple choice right so if I preview this I can see here we go we select options right and notice in my top it's all a circle right now uh, then I'm going to select an option if I select it on the teacher side when I'm building I've now told Desmos that this is the correct answer so watch what happens when I go and press that up here. Select it. Doesn't happen yet because I have here. So now let's come in and select our correct answer. Now I'm going to turn off the explain their thinking for right now just because I want to show you what happens. If I have this selected, I've told Desmos that this is the correct answer. So when I preview, if I select this, it's going to tell me that it's correct. If I select another answer, going to tell me it's incorrect. Now, if I add that explanation back in there, as soon as I do that, watch what happens. I select it, it gives me the dot. But if I pick a wrong answer, it tells me it's wrong. So the reason it's doing that is because there's a second component on the screen, and it's that explain your thinking. So what it's telling the teacher on the dashboard is that something is correct here, but there may need some, be some more that you need to look at, which would be the student's thinking but it will tell you if it's incorrect. So it's saying, hey, they missed the answer. We need to go in there and maybe give them some feedback so they can see what's going on. Now, some of you may have noticed if you're looking at this, say, wait a second, Ryan, there's multiple correct answers here. That's when I can take this and say, what if I want them to select more than one option? So if I click the three dots, I can select the check boxes. And now this becomes a select all that apply type situation. Right, So I can now come in and as the teacher, I can click the answers that would both satisfy this. And again, I'm telling Desmos on the teacher side of things, these are the correct responses. And then notice I've lost my explain the thinking option because we're having that select multiple. So here, if I'm looking from the student in, I've select one, I get an X on my teacher dashboard, but I select my second one and now I get that checked, right? So I can select all that apply. So those are how, that's how we can use our multiple choice component or our checkbox component to see and gather student thinking as well as put those answers in so we can see the feedback on the teacher dashboard. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy Desmosing.